Well, it's been a while since I've actually tried out a new game on YouTube. So I thought I'd give this game a shot. It's called Shortest Trip to Earth. It's now available on Steam. You can go check it out. There'll probably be links in the description of the video and where you can go and find it. It's basically kind of like a faster than light type game where you're basically trying to get to Earth. And I've played the tutorial and I did one game um, just to sort of get kind of a feel of what it is. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll try starting a new game. Uh, choose your starting sector. Okay, so we'll have to take the closest star because, uh, you know, that's uh, that's it. Um, and now you get to choose which ship you want uh, to play with. Um, and here you can see a small missile is not built for integral, but comes with military grade armor and engines providing superior tactical survivability. So I used this ship. Uh, there's... Uh, None of these are unlocked yet. So you only have three choices of ships. Let's try the first ship. I haven't tried this one, so we'll, we'll try the first ship, Nuke Runner. And then you get uh, Fate Points. So uh, I get 20 for starting, and then I had 11 from my last run. So you get like 15 Fate Points on your first run. So uh, let's go here. What, let's see what's your ship specific. Light security droid arm with auto pistol. It's interesting. Maintenance drone modified to allow operating ship weapon systems. Maintenance repair drone. This could be handy. Um, that could definitely be handy. This will increase the sensors. Uh, Self-assembled crypto sleep pod. I don't. I don't really know what is good. A young cadet. From Space Academy agrees to join our mission for a small price. Uh, a droid, I guess, if we get boarded. Standard drone for operating weapon systems. Cannot repair nor operate non-weapon modules. Uh, repair, that's actually pretty good. Gun operator drone. What's the difference between... Weapon systems. And one repair drone. Uh, so I think I want a repair drone. That that could come in handy. Uh, fire safety drones could come in handy. How about an improvised bot? Let's go ahead and grab extra crew. Let's grab that guy. <laughs> Very ethical to use. Uh, ship specific places shield generator. Ooh, let's get a more efficient one. Sounds good. Proof ship Gatling gun. Sounds good. Uh, selection of nukes. Uh, let's get some. Let's get some extra fuel. Um, let's get some synthetics. Can I get some extra synthetics? Yeah. That's an excellent rat cook. If we pay with exotics, they'll bring some culinary resources to the ship. Oh, I don't have any exotics. I guess I'd have to buy an exotics. Um, ship armor. I got. I got to spend. Oh, I could. I guess I could go, let's just go for this. We'll get our 31 points. We'll see, we've got a bunch of stuff. Our name drones, we've got some fire extinguishers. Uh, we'll see how this goes, we'll start the game. We land in deep space. All right, so you can pause the game so that time doesn't continue. Uh, you can press tab to look at your actual ship. So this is my ship. These are the different modules. This ship looks like it has less modules than the other ship in general. Um, so I have crew. They've already assigned crew to the various spots. It looks like I have 10 crew moving to position. These guys are all moving to position. Uh, these guys are operating, moving to position. So uh, some of these guys don't have... Uh, anything to do, and you got little cats. 
Got a little cat. A little hedonist. Um, so yeah, we are ready to sort of explore. And uh, if I look at my map, this is sort of the map that I'm currently on. This is the star system, or this is the star system that I'm in. These are the places you can warp to. They take a uh, amount of fuel uh, to get to. You have to get to the exit to exit to another uh, another star system. Sector radius range. And then, oops, let me get out of the warp here. Quick select just goes to the ship. I can look at my cargo. The quick select is the different weapons. I only have, looks like I only have a couple of weapons. Uh, automatic, power off. Okay, so that doesn't require crew. I think this one requires crew. And this is a point defense system. So I really only have, and this is a point defense system. So I have two point defense systems and, and two weapons right now. I could uh, equip stuff so in my cargo i have nothing uh because i've installed everything it looks like that i had this is just the various stats this is uh how much food people eat this is how much fuel uh per range unit so every every time you move you use uh you use up some food and you use up some fuel i'm only using 12 right now but i don't have any of the weapon systems online so if i click on this If I toggle this on, and I toggle this on, and I toggle this on, and I toggle this on, I'm using up a lot of my uh, actual power. I don't need to. I don't need to waste the power right now, so I'm not going to bother toggling them. You can auto fire when, once we get in combat. You'll see how that works. This is my engine, uh, and you can upgrade your different modules. I have. I have a few. I have a few slots uh, available left, but not a ton. So this is a very compact ship to start with, so we'll kind of see how that goes. So we go back to our map here. You can start exploring the sector to try and find resources. Risk of lethal atmospheric conditions, nothing to do here. Okay, so there's nothing we can do with this gas giant because it's considered lethal. I've defrozen our entire crew. Okay, that's the beginning. The journey goes through 10 sectors. So we have to get through 10 sectors to get to Earth. I was hit by an asteroid. So, see how to avoid in the future. Okay. Significant amount of fuel elements detected. Damage restoring and be very low. So we'll harvest. Accident, of course. So we gained some fuel, but we lost some hit points. We lost some metals and we lost some synthetics. And then if I also look here... Uh, you can see asteroid deflection and ship info, so you have a chance sometimes to avoid them. Uh, while moving, you get hit. Your point defense systems can help out as well. Um, so if I look, if I slow down time here, so I have some integrity damage, and I have a uh, fire. The fire is right here. Looks like I've got a fire extinguisher drone is on its way. And what I could do is I could say, uh, take this crew member here. And if I want, I could uh, repair this uh, hull damage. It costs more to repair it here than it would if I was uh, at a star base. Um, and all this can happen while you're doing other things. So you could click people to do whatever you want to do, and then you can continue on your way. Uh, so we went to the gas giant, we got some fuel. Of course we had an accident because why, why wouldn't we? And then let's speed up time again here. Small volume of harvestable fuel elements has been detected in the atmosphere, estimated risk of accidents during below average, we'll harvest. Full scale planet wide mega storm, the crew is quickly recall, but our mining equipment, uh, let's keep harvesting and see what happens. And we got some fuel, All right? So you need fuel to keep going. Uh, looks like a good spot for harvesting. Uh, let's explore. All right, most of the local organisms produce a radioactive resin which could potentially process into explosive. The resin also prevents turning the local vegetation into readily consumable organics. All right, so you can do research and process. So 
We're going to lose 60 synthetics, but we'll gain um, some explosives out of it. And that's this here, possibly. Uh, you can research only, and that'll give you some of these credits. Uh, but we're going to research and process, see what we get out of it. All right, so we lost, we gained some explosives and we gained some credits. And you use the explosives in other, uh, in combat, basically using your, uh, to fire your missiles and stuff. Uh, okay, so let's go to our, oops, let's go to our warp tab here. Uh, we've already explored all the planets here. So now we choose our path. Um, so we can go through... This looks like a big system. I don't know. We could go there and back. Uh, we could go over here. Eh, let's go here. Three planets. Let's be 50. All right, let's, let's go here. This looks like a bigger system. Okay, so... We warp. Okay. I guess it's not as big as I thought it was. Wait. What is that? Wait. What the? Why am I not able to? That's so strange. May your profits accelerate your fellow consciousness. Let us trade forms of energy for mutual profit. Our fleet will be leaving the system after this meeting is over. So is true once found. So we can get 100 explosives for credits, which we don't have. We can get 100 explosives for one fuel. Uh, we can sell data credits for one exotic. And we can't do anything we could do the fuel I really don't want to do that I will right, we'll do it I'm 1% less bastards all right so go to this one there's only one system here it looks like all right so we can't really scavenge here so there's really not much oh we found something drifting in space. One of them was broken B droid cyborg with an intact memory core. After numerous repairs using advanced materials, we were able to bring the B droid back to consciousness. After discussing with the AI, the being decides to join our mission. So we gained a crew member and some organics. Uh, so if we look, uh, we're up to 11 crew. We have some idle, which is okay. And now we have this guy here, this B-Droid, I believe is the new... Yeah, because this is our one. What does he do? Has total self-control, fireproof body. Nice. Oh, they have skills. All right, so he has a gunnery skill. He has two in operate skill. And he has 200. Oh, all right. So I didn't even notice that the different crew had different sk skills. Right. So he's all right. That's interesting. All right. So we got low. Ooh, we do really do have low organics. Okay. So we have to. Um, all right. Let's go here. We'll warp to our destination. So we really do need uh, organics here. Warp in progress. Oh. Active minefield. Uh, I guess we avoid that, right? Warp life. We've encountered a lone warp whale. These peaceful creatures are known for their beautiful telepathic songs that passerby can hear. Hmm. I think I have to hunt it because I need organics. I don't know that it has any. Oh, 
we could die hunting it though. Ugh. Crew and Cody's former guys might heal light winds over time. Okay. Uh, let's hunt it. Oh, uh, they didn't like. They didn't like that. All right. Get hundred. I don't have enough credits. I don't have any exotics. I have nothing. All right, we need food badly. Print. Warning, access to the mining planet is restricted to an intelligent bank team authorized vessel failure to respect rule offense. Fight satellites from tactical distance. Risk some other hit points. Uh, Man destroys satellites cheaply. Weapons are too short range to reach us. Uh, she's explosives. Demolition experts misjudged. Oh. Let's try again. Right, we got five exotics now, which isn't going to help us eat. All right. Um, I can put some people into crypto sleep. Oh, power's off, but there should still be somebody there, right? Okay, so we're in a lot of trouble here. We didn't get any food. Uh, let's go back here, I guess. Runner of fuel. Run out of feud. Feud. Food. All right, let's do the shipwreck. Hopefully we can get some organics here. Hey, a little bit of food, not a lot. Um, there goes all our organics again. Gotta scavenge it. We need some organics. Uh, ancient residual station destroyed long ago. Now we got some metals and a module. Uh, so it gives us a module here. What's this? Oh, fire extinguisher drone. Thinking about animals. Um, Terran quad sniper. Accuracy high, reload time 21, damage 4 times 1, ignores shield. Uh, let's see if I have a slot that I can put it in. So I don't have an empty slot that I can put it in. I can replace one of the two guns I have. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. I could scrap it, but it's not going to give me anything that I really need. I could get an exotic out of it, I guess. We'll just hold on to it for right now. Um, oops, wrong button. All right, so we, again, are in desperate need of... Oops. Store all enclosed. We're in desperate need of organics. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's try and negotiate. All right, so we left. Nukes won't harm us. Uh, again, we have no food. This is not really going well. All right, we'll warp to Hataris. Okay.
Get 100 explosives? No. Get 100 explosives? No. This I can do. But that doesn't really... Let's see, maybe there's some food here. Plant life on this planet is carbon-based and cannot be processed. And carbon-based. <laughs> what? I'm having no luck here with the food. Eco-harvest animals. Eco-operations do not collect more than max container. Hunt the animals. Eco-operations do not collect more than max container capacity. All right, so we got some organics, which is fine. Um, I kind of want to fly near here to see if there's something there. I didn't see anything, though. Warp energy. It could be a precursor technology, only possibly a warp animal, though they don't usually. Let's investigate. Incredibly, the warp energy emanates from a large robot. Its unusual design suggests precursor technology, and it doesn't seem to be a military unit. You send drones to investigate, and the robot effortlessly hacks one of them to communicate. Safety to your ship. It releases them to the drone. As your crew approaches in a shuttle, they suddenly get an unnerving feeling that somebody is actively reading their minds. You need help. The robot states coldly in your mind. It looks at your ship and see the pieces of ground raising up in the air around it. The dirt transforms into metal bits, which attach themselves to the ship hull. The robot... Oh. So it healed us. Okay. Uh, again, we are out of food. And now we're out of fuel. Alright, let's send an SOS. A large trade ship, its AI crew do not wish personal communication and only transmit formal commercial signals. Okay. Oh, wow. They have a lot of stuff. Uh, so we need fuel. Uh, so let's... We can't buy much. Uh, let's sell our exotics. Let's confirm that. Confirm that. That's, is that as much fuel as we can get? Yep. Uh, we can sell some metals, I suppose, right? So we can buy some more, uh, oh, we can buy some fuel. Can we buy organics here? Okay, let's look at some modules and see. Actually, can we sell a module? Let me pause here for a second. Crew. can scrap it uh, doesn't look like I can sell it all right so let's see what modules they have to buy here uh, we've got uh, bioengineered plants turn synthetics rapidly into consumable organics okay well that's possible for us we could use that storage capacity Oh, okay, that's interesting. How much does this cost? Three twenty one. I can't afford that. Um to assemble from tech scratch generates little power. Uh, increases my storage capacity across the board. High and civilian drive. So I would need one of these uh, to get out of the system. All right, but I need, I guess I'm going to have to buy fuel as much as I can. Oh, I could have bought organics. What am I doing? Okay. 
I didn't see it. Three of eight. Seven of nine. All right, so I, there's nothing more I can, I guess I could sell off some of my synthetics to buy some more organics. Okay, it's the best I can do. Uh, I was on my way over here. Let's go faster. Enter asteroid field. Oh, thanks. Large asteroids, almost worthless. All right, so we've explored this system as well. Uh, so we basically warp. Now I want to go, I kind of want to go here, but then I got to go back. All right, let's go, let's go there. Hopefully we can get some fuel or find something, get some credits. Well, I could hire some crew unless I can convert them into unless I can convert them into organics. Uh, this doesn't help me. This really doesn't help me. I mean, he's cheap in terms of consumption. He's really cheap in terms of consumption. Oops. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really help me. Oh, we got a fire. Yeah, I know we got low food. Okay, we're too close to the, um, oh, we're too close to the sun. Okay, so we got to get out of here again. Uh, this did not help me. Oh, I don't even have enough fuel. Uh... Wow, this uh, this is not going well at all. Oh, this looks like it could be combat. We are going to take you with us, show you the finest dungeons, train you into a good slave. Okay, our first battle. This does not look good. All right, so let's pause. Let's actually pause it. Um, we do want to fire. Uh, we only have the two weapons. Uh, so... All right, and so, oops. We do also want to turn our point defense systems on. Is this an auto one? Operated by bridge. Turn that one on. All right, so we've got our, our weapon systems online. You aim the weapons. Um, you can aim them kind of uh, at specific things that you might want to take out or try to take out. Uh, but if you aim sort of at the edge, you have more chances of missing. Whereas if you kind of aim uh, center mass, you have a better chance of, of hitting the ship. I don't know how well this is going to go, so I guess we uh, we go. Like I said, I got, we got our point defense systems online. They're doing their job. We're shooting. There we go. Um, we've got a repair droid doing repairs. I'll see if we've uh, we now have broken stuff. 
Um, having people on repair duty is good. I can actually get them uh, out. To kind of help out. The problem is, is repairing takes synthetics. Um, we are we are damaging their ship. Their hit points are down to five. They're probably they have no shield. Uh, this will probably blow them up. All right, so we blew them up. We're scavenging. Here we go. Come on, give us no food. No food. That's terrible. Um, so we got one module. Uh, if I scrap it, I'll just get some synthetics. It is a small mining laser. Uh, let's just scrap it. We can use the synthetics to help repair and stuff. That's fine. Actually, I'm going to put you guys back in because you don't need to be up. Uh, everybody's kind of wounded uh, because we have no food. There's I don't oops, I don't know what I can actually do about that. Uh, I can go back here. I now have the fuel to go back here, so let's go ahead and do it. This system has been terrible for us. Uh, I don't have any. I don't have any exotics, so I have to prepare for battle. Oh, good, good. Three ships. This is what we needed right now, right? It's perfect. We needed three ships here to to kick our butt. Um, they're small, so that's a bonus, I suppose. Uh, you could try to escape. But I think what we'll do is uh, I'll try and kill this one. They don't have a lot of hit points. We're doing okay. You know, our hull has a bit... Oh, we just lost our sensor. We do have the repair drones, which are really handy. I like them. Definitely worth picking up if you can. Um, having extra crew set to repair and put out fires and stuff, also handy. We are... Have we fired yet? Did I not... Did I not? I didn't didn't target? Oh my god. We're just sitting here taking damage for no reason. That's what we're doing. Alright, let's speed it up a bit here. Yeah, see we took out their gun, so they they can't fire until they repair their gun. I may actually fire this direction. That ship's almost dead. See, they're repairing their gun. Oh, we just lost. We just lost our uh, reactor. Uh, that's not good. I don't think we can fire anything now. So, uh, let's pause. Can I force you to repair my reactor first? Let's get the reactor up. Uh, we can't shoot with no reactor, guys. More important, more important. I mean, we have important stuff to do. We have no shields. This is our shield generator. We're, we're taking a beating here. Our reactor's online. People are unhappy. They repaired their gun, which sucks. Okay, we did kill one of them. That's good. Okay, so uh, we're... Oh, I got it. That ship's done, so now I'm going to try and take out this ship. This ship is all close to damage. This one's almost dead. 
Uh, we are getting systems going down. Uh, we are running out of synthetics. So uh, we are going to kill that one. That's good. Maybe I can get some organics out of this one, maybe? That would be great. That would be great. Oh, and you can now go there. I mean, everybody's unhappy because they're starving to death in space. This next set of shots from us should, should be the end. Okay, yes, give us some organics. Yay, some food! No synthetics, though. Four modules, okay. All right, so what did we get? We got a multi-container. We can... This one has metals. I don't really need increased storage capacity right now. Printed engine, uh, micro reactor. What's this one? Plus five. Uh, so um, right now my reactor is plus fifteen. I'm producing twenty four power. Where's where am I? Where's all my other power coming from? Oh, this one here is plus nine. So man, none of these are all that great. Uh, if I scrap them, uh, I can get some synthetics. Yeah, let's let's scrap that. If I scrap this, I can get some metal, some synthetics, and some exotics. Yeah, let's scrap that. Yeah, let's scrap that. And uh, metals and synthetics. Yeah, scrap that. Let's scrap all that. That works for me. I could scrap this too. What do we get out of it? Metal, synthetics, and exotics. Yeah, let's scrap it. All right, so we'll go back to the system here and uh, let's get to the planet. Planet surface emitting some kind of unknown signal. Planet itself is emitting some kind of unknown stream. All right. Cussian Library. It is an ancient autonomous library built by the Cussians. Their long disappeared civilization is infamous for its cruelty, but also love of knowledge. The library might contain both traps and valuable data. It would be unwise to attempt dismantling the entire tower. Cussians had access to terrible weapons, including warp rays. Explore the library. Explore the library. Consume exotics for mental fortitude. Yeah. Finding traps, library administration, file of valuable data. Nice. So we got 200 credits. All right, things are starting to go our way a little bit here. All right, let's go here. Gas giant uh, is good for fuel usually. Let's see if we can get some fuel. Accident, oh, of course we had an accident. Uh, it's not terrible. We did get some fuel out of it, though. Ship in the wreckage with unknown design orbiting the outer atmosphere of the gas giant. Miraculously, it seems to still contain some active technology. Let's investigate. Another accident. Ouch. All right, let's, let's go over here. Oh, another ship. Rat Empire credentials. Okay, so we four exotics. Are you crazy? I could pay the credits, but screw it. Oh, it's a big ship. Okay, let's pause. We don't have a lot. Uh, uh, we're gonna try and hit the front guns. We'll try and hit the guns here. Uh, everything else is online. They have 24 hull points. They have a lot of shield. All right, so we're not as unhappy anymore because we had some food, so that's that's good. People don't have a lot of hit points though right now. Can I see this crew member? He's eight of nine. 
I'm going to put you in Crypto Sleep. I might swap out some crew to heal them up here. Wait, charging up warp drives to escape. We might want to prevent them. Okay. I mean, we're trying to. We don't have our engine. We, don't, we only have so much. So they're escaping. Okay. So they escaped. Uh, they did some damage to us. We are running out of metals again, which is actually pretty bad. We really needed those resources. Okay. Uh, let's go back to our map here. Uh, get to the hot planet. All right, we're going to prospect. Oh, that, that didn't work out for us. Okay. I guess I could take a, oh, we're out of, we're out of food again. Wait, I've already been here. What a waste, waste of fuel. Bridge not functional, bridge not functional. Wait. Oh, people have died. Okay. All right. I, I need to be a little more uh, aggressive with all right, let's get the guys and the guns. Uh, I need somebody to operate the... Aha, okay, so I do need somebody to operate... All right, what are your health at? All right, let's get you into there. I'll get you over there. I think they're dead, right? All right, so they died. All right, you're on the point defense system. I don't need you there. Uh, I probably could use you on sensors, but I'm gonna send you over there. Um, how much health do you have? Where are their hit points? Okay, you're five, okay. All right, um, yeah, I wasn't paying attention, so I lost some crew, not good. Uh, we're gonna try and heal some of these people up. We definitely need to keep track of our food. The problem we're gonna have right now is I have to warp to a couple systems. Um, so I've already visited this one. So we have to warp there. And I could go here. They might have food. I could buy some crew maybe, but I think mostly I, I need to buy some organics, right? I can buy 200 organics. I can sell all my exotics. I could buy... I'm trying to get to 50. Can I do... I'm trying to, uh, come on, I just want 50. All right, I'm gonna buy 49. I'm going to spend the rest on fuel. All right, we got some, got some organics. We got some fuel. We have no cash left, uh, but that's okay. Oops. Uh, we're going to need to warp again to this system. We'll see if I can make it here. Uh, we do need a warp drive, I believe. I don't have any money. Uh, metal object, okay. This container, open it. Organics and explosives. So we've been to all of them, lifeless, precursor robot, almost worthless, planet with uh, atmosphere, exotic ecosystem. All right, let's just get out of here. 
We'll warp to this system. Nuno. All right, we haven't been here, so uh, let's check out this. Really need some fuel. No fuel there, though. We did get some synthetic, so that's good. Uh, we've got a mining laser. Uh, I don't think we can install it anywhere. No, we can just replace the two units. Uh, so we'll just get some synthetics. We don't have space for that at the moment. Uh, I can scrap that one. And uh, let's just store that one. Let's store all and close. We'll go here, check out this planet. Uh, we'll, we can't really afford the fuel, but let's do it. Uh, investigate. Okay. Let's send an assault team. Yeah, food, data. Primitive Civilization Underground Mega Farms call themselves Jinbao. After analyzing our team, oh, we got more food and more data. Jim Bao explained they've been forced to hide for generations because of the monsters. They plead with you to kill the monster live somewhere in the planet mountains. Send a hunter killer team into the mountains. Stealthy drones of our hunting party are lucky to discover the entity. It is an ancient autonomous military robot, seemingly in active combat mode. It is not discovered us yet. We call a team precision bomb robot from orbit. Yeah. Let's try. Excellent. The Gen Bao merge. Oh, they gave us a bunch more food. Wow. Oh, we got too much. Okay, convert to fuel. Okay. Oh, this was much better. Much better. Gas giant, harvestable fuel. All right, let's harvest some fuel. Every time I have an accident. We discovered a powered down warehouse on a nearby moon. There's a freezer room full of unhealthy. Now, now I don't have enough space for all this food. Okay, let's take half the food and leave some. Uh, advanced humanoids, entire population is playing or watching some kind of virtual multiplayer game. Game is so interesting, they have lost all of their ambitions to achieve anything. Let's contact them. Busy at the moment. Now we're switching to the crew plan. It's token hospitality. We have prepared a cargo of local food. Oh, thank you. Uh, dump excess, I guess. Uh, we could fly around here a little bit, but we don't have a lot of fuel, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let us warp to... I've already been there, so let's uh, let's warp to the exit. I think the problem here is I don't have a warp unit to get off the system. Premium civilian, highly intelligent mammals seem to be hardworking and ethical. Extensive hidden arms. Okay, well we've got some credits. It's good. Trulifants. After meeting with our ambassadors, they ask for help. There's a group of alien pirates regularly raid the Trulifants. The pirates are in underground caves and can only be attacked in close combat. Attack pirates. Oh my god. They gave us a mountain of food. Okay, let's uh, convert to fuel. Metals container large, it just increases metal capacity storage. Uh, 
we'll convert to fuel. I don't really need that. What happens if I scrap this one? Uh, I don't need synthetics right now. Okay. Let's go back to the map. Oh, what's this? All right, let's go there. The most long range warp is property of the Rat Empire. Those who pass must pay the gate tax. I warn you, those questioning the Imperial rules. And I have a nuke. Okay, uh, leave for now. I'm not ready. Oh. I guess we're too close to the. Uh... All right. Okay, we can't repair here. Uh, we can buy stuff. We could sell some things. Uh, we could use some fuel. Uh, what modules do they have? A warp? Long range sensor, resource pack, container for organics. Uh, it just increases you. Okay. Uh, death tail laser. Alright, I don't have enough credits. Um, I don't, I do have some exotic, no I don't, I don't have any exotics. I would need seven for the rats. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up this episode here. We need to basically uh, explore the rest of the system, uh, figure out how we're going to exit the system through the warp gate. Uh, but we barely managed to survive, we're down to five crew. So we could use some more crew. We had like 11 or 13. Uh, we just starved to death. I just couldn't find any organics for the longest time. But anyway, this is the this is a brand new game on Steam. Uh, go check it out. It's pretty interesting. I mean, shortest trip to Earth. Uh, so far, I played for 50 minutes, survived three battles. Destroyed four ships, found some modules, visited some planets, and earned some fate. The fate that you will get to use in the next game. So I assume that as you spend your fate, or as you get further and further, you'll get more fate in the new games, and you get to you know upgrade your ship and stuff. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. We'll come back next time, and we'll see if we can get through the warp. Till next time, Delgar out.